Hola muchachos y bienvenidos a el video sobre la lista de verbos sobre columna número 2. Sobre columna número 2. Uh, there are several verbs that I would like to go over uh, individually because they require a little bit more attention on, in, this, um, in this column. The first one is conseguir. Since we just started the present tense, I want to make sure that you realize how to conjugate the verb conseguir. Conseguir is actually a compound of the verb seguir. Seguir has two irregularities. First off, seguir is a go-go. So seguir is sigo, sigo. Second off, seguir is an E to I stem changer. So as you can see, as you can see, all I'm taking off is the IR. The U stays there. This looks awkward to some, uh, but this is the way you conjugate. Okay, so it's sigue and seguimos, because remember this is a stem changer, and because it's a stem changer, it only stem change within the boot. It's not gonna stem change here. And sigin, sigin. Okay, that's the first verb. The second verb is the verb costar. The only thing that I wanna say about the verb costar, actually there's two. First, it's a stem changer. Second, it's only used in its third person singular. Remember, it's o, as, a. It's used in its third person singular or its third person plural form. Why? Because the verb means to cost. You don't want to say I cost for obvious reasons. So you do want to say it cost. Now remember when it is the subject of the sentence, you just leave it blank. Just like when you say it is uh, Wednesday. You don't say lo es, you just say es miércoles. When it is the subject, you leave it blank. Okay, so if you want to say my shoes cost, mis zapatos cuestan, okay, my book bag costs, uh, mi mochila cuesta. Okay, so please be careful. These are only used in the third person singular and plural. Cuidarse. Notice that the verb has the reflexive in parentheses. And the reason for that is because if I am taking care of someone else, then this is not a reflexive verb. For example, um, Maria takes care of, cuida, her, uh, su, and ma, no. So, if she is taking care of someone else, then it's not reflexive, as opposed to Maria se cuida. And that means Maria takes care of herself. Remember, the reflexive always comes back. Uh, the, oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted to erase. I wanted to erase this. Remember, the reflexive always comes back. Okay? Uh, she takes care of herself, as opposed to Maria takes care of her brother. The next one is chocar. In English, we say, I collided, I crashed into. If you want to think of chocar as um, to collide, because then it, it works. It works with the with. I collided with uh, the wall. Yo choqué con. So, yeah, it means to crash into. But if you want to think with collide, it works better with the con. But you do need the con in any case. The ver plus infinitive we just did in the past um, chapter. So please make sure that you review this. The ver plus the infinitive means to should or to ought. So for example, tú debes tomar, here's the infinitive, apuntes. Tú debes tomar apuntes is you should take notes while you're watching your video. Hint club. Uh, despedirse. Despedirse means to say goodbye. You don't say decir adios. That doesn't work in Spanish. So I want to point out it is always reflexive. 
and it is a stem changer. So to conjugate it, it's me des be do, ellos se des be den, nosotros nos des pe, pe dimos. Why? Because it's an IR verb, so it's imos, and it's not going to stem change because it's not in the book. Okay, so be careful with that. We say goodbye. We said goodnight around 10.30 at night. Nos despedimos a las diez y media de la noche. Devolver, the only thing I want to mention with devolver is that there's two verbs that mean to return. You have devolver, and then you have just volver, and they both mean to return. Devolver means to return an item, and volver, a person is returning. So I returned the uh, movie to Blockbuster. Yo devolvi. Uh, I returned to my childhood home. Yo volvi. Okay, so one is devolver, item. Volver is a person. And I think this is the last one. No, maybe not. Uh, dirigirse means to direct by itself, as in Stephen King directed. Stephen King dirigió. But when you use it reflexively, it means to address, as in to address a person. I am directing myself towards you. So when um, you can say, me dirijo, uh oh, me dirijo a la clase. I addressed the class. I address the class. Let me change this conjugation. It is a G-I-R, so it's Didi Ho. I address the class on a daily basis. So to address someone, to talk to someone, as in with a speech or whatnot. Divertirse, just like to say goodbye, you can't say decir adios. You actually, divertirse means to have a good time. That's it. That's all you need. So, me divierto. Why? Because it's an E to I E. Um, I have a good time when I uh, go to dinner with my parents. Yo me divierto cuando ceno con mi mamá y mi papá. Me divierto. And that's it. That's it. Um, talk to you soon.